Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Aries. So Aries, let's see, new love prospects or connections this week or in the next two or three weeks or so. Aries, new love prospects or connections. There we go. We have the hanged man. Now that tells me in my singles reading, somebody could be checking you out. Yeah, four of coins. They're holding back. This is someone who's kind of holding back. They're not ready to move. Likely kind of just keeping their distance right now. Yeah, I can see the birth of something new. Yeah, you're not going to budge or move. It's possible you're aware that someone's checked you out. So there's the page of swords. <laughs> Yeah, this was upside down. These cards go either way, so I'm just going to bring it out the way it is. So now this could be someone checking you out, plays mind games. So yeah, you're not budging. You're likely aware of this person. So it's an energy of looking at things from a different perspective. So yeah, you may see things differently, but I feel it's just someone here who's not budging or moving. Chances are this is a person who wants you to make the first move. Ace of Wands, yeah, they're very attracted to you. There's definitely a physical attraction. So there's a little bit possibly mind games. And I don't like to jump to that conclusion with this energy, but this is the way the card came out. So like I say, it's a person who's very curious. They want to definitely want to approach, uh, but I feel they're not budging or moving. I don't think you're going to move <laughs> with that Empress Any, You're not moving. You know your worth and value. This person wants to talk to you or communicate. They need to make the move. Yeah, they need to, it's an eight of coins. They need to put in the work. Now, this could be someone checking you out in the workplace. Very passionate, very creative person, okay? But it has to do with them putting in the effort. You're not, I feel like you're busy doing other things more than likely if it is the workplace. they more than likely checking you out at work. Yeah, they could be playing little games, but we'll see. Nine of coins, reward for your labor. So if they, yeah, if this person puts in the effort, you may be interested. I feel they're attractive. Maybe you, perspective here, maybe you've both checked each other out. Yeah, they're definitely emotionally mature. So I don't really feel it's mind games so much as maybe that's what you're thinking. And it could even be yourself. <laughs> you know, just kind of not budging, not moving. We know the Empress has that feminine energy, you know, being a little mysterious, not moving or budging, definitely. <laughs> Nine of coins. Yeah, this is definitely someone checking you out to see if you're single. See, vice versa. I feel like there's a physical attraction, so it's not any anything bad where they're playing little emotional manipulative games it's just a, a matter of who's going to make the first move well they will so we have the king of cups here so yeah oh it actually says they may be emotionally immature all right there you go new deck i didn't realize it came in upside down so yeah maybe they are but i feel they're definitely single checking you out to see if you are and then we have comforting connections so yeah so i feel this has to do where more than likely with the six of cups it's likely it could be someone you know okay but it's also an energy of someone longing for love but they're single so it's somebody who's likely stuck in single mode okay so it is somebody who could be a little emotionally immature it's a person who's definitely longing for love though yeah but there's that six of cups energy and the comforting connection how is an energy of where I feel like you're not budging or moving. You're not going to give in, but that physical attraction is there. Very, very physical energy here. It has to do with who's going to make the first move. Let's, I'm going to pull out this other deck and just clarify the page of swords. Why is the page of swords here with some negative energy? Yeah, single person. So it's an energy of someone who's single. So they could be very focused on your physical attributes or they just want something physical. Be a little cautious of this energy. See, two single people. You've likely checked each other out, but I'll tell you, the attraction is there. But that emotional immaturity here, see? Or it's sometimes just a person who's not ready. We'll see. Yeah, you may have had a, you may be actually in this hangman where you're looking at things from a different perspective yourself here seeing this energy see maybe even thinking about another person that you've experienced this with because the empress is here the empress has learned the lessons of all the queens yeah see nobody's budging nobody's moving so it's almost like a little bit of a standoff 
So I feel it's an energy of you kind of just protecting yourself, not not uh, making the first move. They have to put in the effort. So it has to do with this person putting in the effort. Yeah, I don't really feel they're up to anything really bad. But like I say, there is that possibility. This is someone here who maybe just wants to be single. But I feel they're also very curious. And I feel it's whether they want to know if you are. So it's like nobody's moving here. There's the chariot, see? Someone very much in control of their emotions. Try not to get emotionally invested. But it has to do with this person becoming determined. So they know if they want to connect, they have to be the one to make the first move. Yeah, they have to offer something. See, there's that cup runneth over. It's about offering this opportunity. Let's have a look at this King of Cups. What is this energy? Yeah, it has to do with Ten of Pentacles. So it has to do with partnering up. Now this, like I say, it almost could be, it looks like a workplace situation. But it has to do with um, financial stability um, safety, security, see, it's where you may not just, you're, you're definitely going to be in protective mode, but I think it's two people just not connecting, not, uh, nobody's making a move here, it's a bit of a standoff, but there's the opportunity, see, they have to put in the effort, the eight of coins, they got to put in the effort, so, yeah, it's an energy of someone who's trying to kind of control a situation here, like who's in control, a little bit of a power struggle between two, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take this to the point where, I, you know, the king, it says emotionally immature. They are financially stable, enjoying the fruits of their labor. But yeah, it, it almost feels like overall, I got to be honest, where it's just got, it, it's at the point here where they really want to connect. I can see it. But they're holding back, maybe being a little immature. Maybe they're thinking that way. Yeah, there it is. They need to build. See, they need to offer something solid and reliable. So tell me more about this King of Cups. What is this emotional immaturity? Yeah, they keep a lot of their feelings to themselves. Page of Swords again. So being emotionally unavailable, maybe that's the energy. Someone who tries not to get emotionally invested, very focused on the want. Kind of it's an energy of both people looking out for themselves. So this is someone who's definitely curious, very logical. So there's something they may not tell you. I feel it's a little mind game, but you know, I don't, I know a lot of people absolutely would never deal with anybody who plays little games where they refuse to budge. <laughs> you see, with somebody who's in that energy, but they're looking at that energy. I feel they're curious at whether you're single. So it's like a little, you know, there's games in love. There's little, you know, I don't really feel like they're manipulating I don't really see that energy. I feel like it's just an energy of both of you attracted to each other. It's a power struggle. Who's going to make the first move? They know they need to put in the effort. You see, they need to offer that cup. That's what I feel like you're waiting for. You're not budging until they offer you something. And there's the solid reliable. So I do feel they're going to offer a date. But I do feel they are a little emotionally immature. Okay. Maybe a little childlike, you know, in a way. Maybe it's just feeling a little childish, but we'll see. I actually feel this is someone here who's definitely financially stable, but it's about partnering up. See, they're looking out for themselves. They're protecting everything they worked for, and I feel like you're in that energy too. But there's the offer. They're offering it to you. This is someone who's definitely longing for love. Yeah, six of cups. Someone who's single, longing for love. They need to grow up a little bit here. They need to make that move. They need to kind of, you know, just release that energy. Let's have a look at the nine of coins. Yeah, see, there it is. Releasing, see, letting go of things that no longer serve. There it is. You know your worth and value. They need to offer something solid and reliable. They need This is a person who needs to show they're stable. It has to do with this person putting their best foot forward. See, it's about building the foundation. It's about starting it. Let's have a look at the Six of Cups. Could be single parent energy here as well. A couple single parents. Six of Cups. Yeah, so I feel with the emotional immaturity, it has to do with them putting their best foot forward, showing you they're reliable. See, there's something this person needs to show you. They need to, you know, put that best foot forward. They need to let go of this energy if they're looking for love. See, this is someone who's definitely doesn't want you to get away, but it has to do with rushing into something without thinking through. So there's this reminiscing. Likely you've both dealt with, 
um, situations where you've rushed in without thinking. So this is someone choosing their battles, choosing that this is something worth fighting for. Okay, so likely some past energy, releasing the past, letting go, you see, being more stable, more reliable. So I feel like it's just those little... And I don't like to call it games, you know. You know what it's like. You meet someone, you check each other out, nobody budges or moves. So if there's any little game playing, it's just an energy of not moving. Often this is a person who's in protective mode, you see. They're, they're holding back. They're not moving, watching from a distance. So they're just kind of keeping their distance right now. You know, you're likely in that same energy. So there it is, something new, four of coins, you see, not budging. It's about looking for clarity, starting something new. We have the birth of something new here. You know, it could be someone checking you out to see if you've started something new, if you're single. So you may know who it is. Maybe they were emotionally immature. So like I say, you're not going to rush into anything. You're going to be logical. You're going to think things through. See some Aquarius energy. I see some Cancer energy. Now, often Cancer energy is, you know, if it is somebody with Cancer in their chart, it could be Pisces or Scorpio. Um, so somebody who obviously is trying not to get emotionally invested, but they want this to be successful. So they're looking at this. I feel they are successful. I feel financially this person seems to have it all going on. But I feel it, it's about letting go. Maybe some baggage from a past relationship, things that no longer serve them. But it has to do with letting go of that single life. There's the Wheel of Fortune, see? There it is. This is an energy of a cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. So this is somebody, if they want things to go in their favor, they need to take that pause. They need to take a look, you see, and see things from your perspective. So I feel this is what's happening. So it, it could be just something you're thinking. They're emotionally immature. or Maybe they're thinking that that's what you feel. But I, I, I feel this person's letting go of this energy. Yeah, see, releasing, clearing things out, clearing things up, taking a little pause. So there's definitely a healing. You know this person. I feel there's somebody who's looking to see if you started something new. They're not budging or moving, and you're not budging or moving either because you're looking for that clarity. So I feel like you're open. So I feel like you're open to this, but it has to do with you know, this person releasing, okay? Things that no longer serve. I see a little break, a little pause. Yeah, see the hierophant. See, it has to do with taking a break from dating. Someone looking at the way they conduct themselves, their habits, lifestyle. It has to do with two people being on the same page, you see. So that's where I feel like you're, it's about two people getting on the same page, communicating. Yeah, we got two single people here, definitely. But I feel they're going to offer something. They want to put their best foot forward. So that's I feel. It's somebody you've already dealt with. Maybe you've had a date with them. Or maybe you just know each other in the workplace. But it has to do with them putting their best foot forward. It has to do with them building, putting in the effort. Because you're not budging. I can see it. Let's have a look at the Empress energy. So, yeah, just look to make sure. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there it is. Yeah, you may actually have a couple of people here. It's very possible you got a person... Maybe you had something that was on and off with someone, but it has to do with, I feel there's a past energy. Someone here is longing for love. They need to release their habits, you know, some way they conduct themselves. See, they need to heal. So it's a healing energy. Yeah, you're going to look at that pinnacle. You're going to look at that. You're going to look at the details to see if this is something that will go in your favor, you know, if it's worth it. But it has to do with putting in the effort. I feel like you have a couple people here. I see a king of pentacles. It looks like you're open to that. Someone who's stable, reliable, practical. Somebody who's, you know, likes to plan ahead. So there's somebody making some kind of plans here. Ooh, my goodness. Yeah, some King of Swords. It looks like you may have a few people around, but it could still be this person. It has to do with a person who's looking for some kind of clarity. They want to know something. So I do feel it's an, you know who this is. They want to clear something up. Now, it could be someone who's just, maybe you something started right where you feel this person wasn't emotionally mature or available. See, they were trying to control something. So I feel it's someone who was trying to protect you from something. Okay, so if you had a date with somebody and they've stopped budging and you're not giving in, I do think they're going to communicate. They're being very logical, very wise. You see, it has to do with starting something. They're looking for clarity. 
So they want to talk. I feel this is someone who wants to clear something up. It has to do with being something you maybe weren't on the same page with. Maybe you just didn't get each other. It's possible you got a person here you just don't get, but you're looking at this pentacle. You're looking at the details, you see? So it's about just being, I feel, just being calm and grounded and looking at this. Yeah, so you may have someone who's a little bit controlling. Maybe they lost control. It's a person, I feel, who's trying not to lose control of their emotions or trying not to be ruled by them because I feel like you have a person here who's put themselves out there before, okay? Uh, and they, you know, they let their emotions control them, run amok, and they didn't get what they wanted or they rushed in without thinking. So, yeah, I, I feel like this is someone who doesn't want you to get away, but it looks like you have a couple of opportunities here. Something new. Let's have a look at the sun. Clarity on the sun, the new. Yeah, so see, you got a person here who's moving kind of slow. I feel like you have a person who's sincere coming in, but it's a person who's kind of moves slow. Okay, very focused on their money. So there's someone here who could be a business owner focused on their money, protecting everything they worked for. You see? So I feel like you got a person who's going to communicate and have a comp want to have a conversation. I feel they're going to reach out. I feel they want to know if you're still single. So it looks like this is someone who's released a habit, a pattern, okay, something to do with their lifestyle, their structure. So, yeah, see, there's the moon. See, someone who's a little confused. So definitely someone's doing some inner work. But it has to do with the things this person doesn't know. See, I feel there's someone here. Maybe this person was protecting you from something. Okay, maybe they were keeping secrets. I don't know. But it, it really looks to me, what I really feel when I see this, is there's things that they don't know that they want to know. Okay, so there's the energy. It has to do with change. See, this is somebody here who may have changed their mind or they've gone through a lot of change. I can see the Empress, you have changed, okay? I can see that you've changed. If you have a couple people around, this energy of moving on from someone, if you had a person who was holding back, not budging, okay, I feel like they were keeping secrets. So it looks like you're moving on from something. But this is someone who wants to know about this change. If you've changed how you feel, if you've changed, maybe moved on, if you've started something new. I feel like you got new, so there's a little new, a little old energy. Let's have a look at the Nine of Pentacles. Why is this here for Aries? Yeah, see, it's a single person who lives alone, someone enjoying the fruits of their labors, their house, their home. There's something to do with moving, relocating, okay? But it has to do, I feel this is someone who's gone through some inner growth. So it's up to you to decide. Page of Pentacles here, you see? This is where you, it, it could be them actually communicating in this way. You know, reaching out, wanting something here. But I do feel it's an energy of someone who needs to put in some effort if they want things to go in their favor. This could go either way, but I see a cycle ending, a whole new cycle beginning. I feel some of you have moved on, yeah. You've got a, somebody emotionally mature coming in. I, You know, it's not even, I'm not even sure if I like that energy of emotionally Im, immature. How about just emotionally unavailable? Because that's what I feel. This person was unavailable emotionally. So I do feel they are healing, they're releasing, see? Letting go. But I also, that's also connected to the Empress. You know your worth and value. Some of you have taken a break from dating, okay? Or this person's taken a break. But it has to do with their habits, their lifestyle, their structure. It has to do with two people being on the same page. Somebody wants to get on the same page. They want things to go in their favor. So it has to do with this person uh, coming in, opening up emotionally, talking to you. They're longing for love. This is someone longing for love. It could be a person missing you here too. Okay. So yeah, but you've got a choice here, but it has to do with whether they come in solid, whether they're reliable. You have a person who needs to show you they're stable. I do feel they're looking for clarity. They're looking at this energy of the releasing and the healing, clearing things out clearing things up. I do feel it's someone who's taken a break. A lot of focus on work. There's definitely somebody who's focused on work. Now, when I see the um, Knight of Pentacles, this is a person who deserve, feels they deserve to be financially stable before they start something. So this is that why I feel this person was kind of stuck. But I also feel for some of you, they're in that protective mode, protecting everything they worked for. I feel they're very curious, kind of what you're up to. Okay, 
So, yeah, but you've got a King of Cups. It looks like somebody who came in unavailable is now available, okay? Or, like, if you wish, emotionally immature. But I feel it's more unavailable. They're trying not to get emotionally invested. This is someone who's rushed into something before and they lost control of their emotions. So they're trying to be logical. See, there's somebody who keeps a lot of their feelings to themselves. So I feel there's that energy where this person in the past has rushed into something before without thinking. You see, and then they lost control of their emotions. So I feel this is somebody who's very determined okay, to offer you this. You may have a couple people, though. I feel like you're going to make a choice. You may end a cycle with someone who keeps somebody that's something that's on and off, someone who keeps coming back around. That You still have a king of cups here. Now, it doesn't have to be uh, this same person. In fact, it could be you have somebody emotionally mature, okay? Somebody who's very sincere. I feel there's someone very sincere here. So I see a decision, a judgment. Now, some of you have the opportunity for a reconciliation. But I feel some of you have already moved on. I definitely feel it. I do see this other opportunity, a fresh new start, some kind of invitation. But, I, you know, if you look at this offer, you're going to look at it. Now, you could be kind of looking at something that's happened in the past because we know the Empress is someone who's learned the lessons of the Queen. So you're looking at those lessons. So you're looking at these things. <laughs> Just grounding yourself, taking your time. It's also an energy of not rushing in to communicate with this person, okay? Especially if it's the person who's coming back around. But I feel like you've moved on. I feel the decision is to keep moving on, yeah. Thanks, but no thanks, you're not interested, see? There it is, yeah. Now, I feel like you have another person. You may have a few people. There's someone here who may not be your type, too, so... Okay, say it's telling you to look at it, but I feel like you have a person who feels they missed an opportunity. I do feel this is someone who healed. I feel they had baggage from a past relationship, page of swords. There's something they kept to themselves, see? So it's a little bit of mind games. So somebody may have been playing mind games. Maybe they rejected you. If you have a person who did that, I can definitely see you moving on. Yeah, see, taking the lessons, avoiding a disaster, moving on. Some of you have definitely relocated, okay? Definitely moving on and relocating, having a fresh new start. Somebody wants to know something. There's someone who is very curious about you. There's no doubt you have a person who's curious. Somebody who's decisive, who knows what they want. So I don't really feel, for the most part, some of you, this person could have leveled up, kind of done some inner work and thought about the way they behaved and conducted themselves. Okay? Being immature. Emotionally unavailable. But others of you... And they could come back in more mature, more open emotionally. But others of you, I feel like you have a few opportunities, definitely. I do think you're going to move on from a couple people, okay? But it's also telling you to look at it because you could miss an opportunity. So there's someone here who is emotionally mature and available, financially stable. There's the invitation, yeah. There could have been too many people involved, uh, possible I see the energy of three so it looks like you got some choices options but I see an invitation somebody's going to ask you out they want things to go in their favor they're putting in the effort somebody here who's putting in the effort so you have an opportunity for a fresh new start it could be a reconciliation if you want it if you don't it's thank you but no thank you being very gracious but I see you looking at a solid reliable offer I feel like you see something that could actually work out here I see a cycle ending and a whole new cycle beginning so that new energy is here Okay, so it's up to you to decide. If you are feeling a little confused or you're not sure, just sort of, it's an energy of just grounding yourself with the Empress and looking, taking the lessons you've learned from the past, okay? But I see someone here who's definitely longing for love. I actually see a couple single parents or somebody maybe a single parent. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you have a person who's a single parent and you're not interested. It could be that simple or vice versa. But I see two single people. Yeah, there's a lot of curiosity here, but you know, like I say, the Empress, I'm not going to say mind games or manipulation, but it looks like little games in love for some of you. Let's have a look at the chariot where you're not budging. And also with the Empress is an energy of mysterious, being a little mysterious. So this is an energy, sometimes when the Empress is mysterious, you're not giving up a lot of info, you're not moving, you're just kind of doing your own thing. Okay, being mysterious, it makes making someone very, very curious. <laughs> 
Well, that's the, the, the energy of the Empress. So I wouldn't necessarily call it mind games, but, you know, it's little game playing tactics, I feel. Let's have a look at the chariot. There it is, temperance. Somebody tempering their passions, tempering their emotions, being patient. So it's an energy of patience. So some of you definitely have choices here. Okay, people around you in your social circle. This person's going to ask you out, but I do feel they're going to be asking you questions. I feel like you got someone who wants to know if you're seeing anybody. Okay, they're just going to put themselves out there. They're hoping this goes in their favor, but they are someone who's logical. See, somebody who's rushed into a situation before. So they're think this is someone thinking things through right before they rush in but they're becoming decisive it's a person choosing their battles is something worth fighting for this is a person who doesn't the uh, the positive is the person who doesn't want you to get away so this could you could be the one that got away here if there is an x energy here for some of you but if that's not what you want it's a simple thank you but no thank you not interested moving on taking the lessons pulling back seeing things differently now this is often an energy where you know some time goes by there's distance okay some time in between a transition where you pull back and see things differently now it could be you could be them but I feel like there's someone here who's different than your usual type. So that's what I feel. There's something, those lessons learning, choosing someone different, someone different than your usual type. If you have a type, and this is what's been happening, on and off relationships, people who don't put their best foot forward, don't offer you anything reliable or stable. Okay, that's what I feel like you're looking at here. So I feel like you're, I feel like you've got this handled. Okay. But like I say, temperance is in the middle, tempering the passions, not controlling. It's about letting go of control. But not. this is someone who's trying not to be ruled by their emotions. I feel like you've got a person who maybe came across as emotionally unavailable, maybe immature to some of you. I'm not seeing a, a lot of energy to tell me that, but for definitely with the Six of Cups, it's possible. Um Really, it's about being available. I feel like you have a person who's allowed their emotions to get to the best of them before, and they've also learned some valuable lessons. So it's about, I feel, about perspective, seeing things from the other person's perspective. Okay? I feel like you and this person have checked each other out um, with this new energy. There is definitely somebody new. I do feel like you're moving on. I do feel like you have an opportunity. Ah, see, Ace of Wands twice. Someone very attractive. There's a physical attraction. Now you have three Aces here. You see? So I feel something is going to come to fruition. You're either going to reconcile with someone who was being immature Somebody who maybe kept secrets or holding on to something, likely baggage. Somebody here too could be reminiscing. They could be moving, relocating, clearing things out of their house. They may have found something here. So it's possible what's going to start this is someone seeing things from a different perspective because they found something they've been holding on to. Maybe you gave this person a gift. Maybe you gave them something and they're looking at it and reminiscing and missing you. So... Yeah, sometimes that's all it takes for a person to take that pause and see things from the other person's perspective. They're holding on to something. I feel someone here has some baggage they need to release. I feel from a past relationship. And it could be you and another person. See, there's someone here who's looking back. See, looking back at all this hard work and feels like giving up. It's someone who just feels like giving up. But we, what you have is a person who's not giving up on love. You see? So it's telling you don't give up, just be patient. It looks like you have, if you're not interested in a reconciliation, there's a couple of other people here. And I do feel someone mature, somebody who's longing for love, definitely emotionally mature. Somebody in your social circle, yeah, it's the emotional fulfillment. So it has to do with someone who's not afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve. They're not afraid of putting themselves out there. But you have to look at perspective because I do feel there's a person here who's done that before and then they were rejected. Okay, so there was something obviously that was painful, maybe some baggage from that happening before. So often, if you look at things from a different perspective, it's not necessarily a person who's emotionally immature. They're just emotionally unavailable because of baggage. But I feel like it's an energy of when you're just about ready to give up, you have someone coming in. So it's either or, and maybe even both for some of you. But there's the, someone putting their best foot forward, coming in to show you they're stable, they're reliable, they're dependable. But I think you're going to look at this. You're going to look. You're looking for clarity, I feel, yourself here. 
I feel someone here wants to clear. Maybe it's just a person. It could be sometimes with the six of wands, it's a closure or where you have a person here who just wants to clear some things up. Okay. But I feel it's about clearing out the past. Okay. Releasing it. Okay. Yourself as well with that healing with the Empress taking those lessons. So some of you, it's an energy of just moving on here, taking the lessons, pulling back, seeing things different. I feel it's an energy of someone coming in who's your different type. I also feel too, this is a person here who you're different than their usual type. So sometimes you get a person who, you know, they feel there's this chemistry, they're very attractive, their cup runneth over with emotion but they feel something is off because you're different. So they don't know. Oh, this is a person who often, like I say, they rush in without thinking things through. But I feel like you have a person who's now becoming decisive. They're reflecting on this energy. So, yeah, there's definitely could be a reconciliation. But others of you, I feel like you have someone who is a bit of a mind game player or they just manipulate, maybe reject you, you know, playing little games. Um like I say, if you feel something is off, trust it, okay? Because they're very well maybe. But there it is. I feel like your ship's coming in. So while you're waiting, see, maybe waiting for something, you may have another person coming in. Your ships are actually coming in. I see emotional fulfillment and invitation. I see you having a few dates with somebody here. Whether it's an ex or someone you've dated, things didn't go well or new. There's definitely three kings here we have three kings but you can see with the empress and then we have three kings someone taking the lessons that they're learning it has to do with someone learning their lessons not necessarily just yourself but this person this is why i feel like somebody is doing some inner work you see it's an energy of somebody wanting to build they're doing the inner work now we all know if you want to meet somebody you do have to put yourself out there it you know even the empress has to put in some kind of effort. You got to get out there and socialize. So I feel there's a message there for some of you. It's about time to try something different, a different kind of person. If you have a type, if you have a type where it's the same old thing keeps happening. Okay. It's time to go to different places. Maybe you have a habit, a routine, a structure places you go. Maybe it's time to go play different places. Okay. Where it's happy, more emotionally fulfilling, like-minded people. Okay, but I see socializing. I, I feel like you've got a person who's definitely been checking you out. A lot of you, somebody new. Somewhere in your community, that social circle or a place where you go. There you go. Your ships are coming in. But I feel while you've, some of you have been waiting for someone. While you've been waiting, you may have an, a new opportunity. Okay. So it's time to ground yourself and look at the details. Look at the situation. Okay. Take a little moment. Make sure you have... You know, looking back, some of you have given up. You feel like you're going to be single forever. You've just given up. But I feel if you meet this person, <laughs> well, this is a message for those of you watching the video who always say, I just want to be single. I, I want to be single. I'm happy where I'm at. I don't want anybody. But yet you watch the singles readings. So this is a message for you. If this person comes towards you, you may actually... Uh, start considering there could be a future here because I feel like your ship when you're just about ready to give up here comes that ship here comes this person who's mature this could really go in your favor I see a whole new cycle I see very it all has to do with the timing too it has to do with the, being at the right time and the right place see something to do with places and timing here going to different places different types of people connecting with like-minded uh, people see happy places emotionally fulfilling uh, i see invitation definitely maybe even from a couple people but i feel that energy of missing an opportunity is telling you to take a pause to look at things from the other person's perspective okay and someone is looking at things from yours as well but i feel it has to do with just taking a moment to pause and pull back and see things different after a period of time okay and it may not be to do with reconciling with someone that trying something different feeling differently i feel if the right person comes in and the time is right see feeling like giving up being single i feel it's this person as well so you know, i feel like you're going to be on the same page with someone here yeah, there it is. See, love. See, a physical attraction, a bond, a connection between two. So it looks like you have choices. It does look like you're going to reject someone. Now, it could be a person with the King of Swords or King of Pentacles. Now, 
and then you've got the king of cups here twice one is kind of negative emotionally immature so this is where you have to decipher and you likely know who this one person is but someone you're going to say thanks but no thanks to somebody here and then you're going to pull back and see things differently okay someone different than your usual type or you're going to go somewhere different yeah there it is. See, shining a light. This could be yourself in hermit mode, or you could have a person in that energy. Somebody looking for clarity. See, this is a person who's kind of on their own path here. See, they're looking at their life path. They're looking back. See, somebody is kind of looking back. And this could be even yourself spending a little time alone, you know. Like I say, you get the, when the right person comes in, even if you feel like giving up, you're just going to be single. You're just kind of doing your own thing. You know, I actually feel the right person comes in, you could go for this, okay? But I feel a lot of this is the other person too, being emotionally open. So it's a beautiful energy. Yeah? The high priestess, a little Pisces energy. See, trusting your intuition. This is trusting, okay? If something doesn't feel right, looks like there's someone here that just doesn't feel right see you may even be reflecting on a past relationship it may not even be somebody that you've dated it's very possible but yeah you've got positive so i've dug into this lots there's the two of cups two people who uh, see eye to eye so it's a connection so it looks like you've got some choices here see connecting beautiful energy two people drinking from each other's cup sharing your feelings see it takes two people to build you see, you have someone here who doesn't want to build is what it probably is ending up for some of you. They don't want to do the work, but I feel someone is doing their inner work. And I mean, maybe it's yourself with the Empress energy, but once you heal yourself from past energies where there's something here, it may have changed you forever. You see where you've kind of moved on. I see a lot of positive energy around you. So like I say, while you're waiting, you see, while you're waiting for something maybe yourself like just sort of waiting to see what happens this could actually go somewhere okay this connection lovely energy i mean maybe it's yourself waiting for someone to heal but you know like i say it looks like you got somebody who rushed in and rushed out you see but it also has to do and this is the energy of somebody or something on and off somebody who rushes in very fiery passionate very focused on the physical see emotionally Re somebody here is not ready so this is what you'll recognize trust your intuition the lessons you've learned from the past the things that you know okay <laughs> your inner wisdom yeah but there it is this is how you're going to decipher if it feels off it probably is it doesn't mean this is somebody who's out to hurt you they're just a person who follows their passion they just rush in and then they you know decide to back out they feel pressured they're not ready and then you have somebody here who is and it could all be the same person for some of you it all depends what you're waiting for what it is that you want okay it's also an energy of putting yourself out there i feel like something that you've been wanting there it is the empress you know your worth and value you see beautiful energy yeah i feel like you got something that could go to the next level you may be just looking at these options and comparing. There could be that comparison that a lot of people do. Lessons from the past. Okay. Someone here is longing for love. Someone like yourself. So there you are. It's a crossroads of choice. This could go to the next level. You see. I also feel you're not looking for friends with benefits or anything on and off uh, because the Empress is here. You know your worth and value. See, you've healed. I feel like you've healed. You know exactly where you stand, what it is you want. So there's the crossroads, the choice. It looks like a choice definitely between two. So it'll be all up to you to decide. Like I say, temperance is in the middle. If you feel something is off, it may be. But it's also saying to be a little bit patient. Okay, so it has to do with learning patience. Some of you maybe need to learn to be a little more patient. Maybe somebody comes in, they don't offer, offer you what you want right away. See, that's why the Empress is here. It's not just the Empress going, gee, thanks, but no thanks all the time. Sometimes it's about taking a pause and, and pulling back, looking at things different, trying something different, being patient yourself. It's more than likely, and it could be, this could even be yourself with the Knight of Wands, rushing into things before, you see? 
So I feel it's an energy of connecting on that emotional level. See, we have that emotional energy. Two people sharing their innermost secrets, talking and communicating. I feel like you have a person leveling up, whether it's an ex or somebody new. There's definitely choices and options. I feel like your ships are here. So it's all about how you feel, okay? But it's about taking a pause and looking at things differently, seeing things from the other person's perspective. But I actually feel it's this other person too, seeing things this way. But I, I still feel some of you have moved on, okay? No doubt here. So... But there you are. You've got a King of Cups coming in, someone in your social circle. I feel like you're going to have a few dates before you take it to any other level. And that level could be introduced into friends. Okay. You know, it's an energy of just having a good time, connecting, invitations. So I feel like you're open. Okay. You, I feel like you're just kind of open to both. Some of you are open to both, but it depends on the situation. So I wish you the best, Aries. Uh, sounds a little complicated, but it's not really. It's just a matter of pulling back and um, trusting your inner knowing, okay? Trusting your inner knowing and being wise here. But I also feel that King of Swords up here is somebody who's very logical, somebody who has put themselves out there before and been rejected because they were too emotional. So look at that emotional energy. If you don't like somebody who's really, really emotional, it's a little much for you. Okay, maybe you've rushed into a situation yourself and backed out because of it. So you want somebody who's more balanced. That's why the chariot's here. Someone who's in control of their emotions, mature, you see? Yeah, yeah. some of you are definitely out of here. I feel like you're going to take the other, the, the new energy. They're definitely attractive. I feel they're both, of, all these people here are uh, attractive to you in some way. Okay. But which one feels right, which one doesn't. That's the thing. So there you are on the fence, choosing a life path, making a choice between two. And I actually feel when you do connect with this King of Cups, this actually really, really could uh, go to the next level. So it's about, and it's also somebody here leveling up. <laughs> So if you've been seeing somebody and you've had a few dates, they could just be going through that leveling up. Often people, you know, with that King of Swords and the King of Cups with this being emotionally unavailable energy is a person who's often just not ready. If you're in a hurry, this person may feel pressured because we do have the King of Pentacles connected here, you know, where this person's just not quite ready. They feel pressured. You may be in more of a hurry. So I feel patience is something that needs to be learned. Not just you, but maybe this other person too. <laughs> Take care. I wish you the best and bye for now.